starting with the application of matrices. So before starting, let's know what a matrix is. So what are matrices? Matrix or matrices are rectangular arrangements of numbers or functions and each number or function is called an element. Now operations like addition, sub subtraction and multiplication are possible on matrices and matrices come in all possible rectangular shapes. These are a few examples. Now, moving on to the representation of a matrix. Every matrix has its order and the order includes the number of rows and the number of columns. The number of rows here in this case is M into the number of columns which is N in this case. Starting with the applications, the first application is transformation of geometric shapes. So matrices are used to represent geometric transformations like translation, rotation, scaling and reflection which are used in computer graphics, engineering and physics. Moving ahead we have the next application which is solving systems of linear equations. Now matrices provide a powerful tool for solving various systems of linear equations by representing the coefficients of variables in a matrix. Matrices can be used for finding out, for solving Gaussian eliminations, Kramer's rule or matrix inversion to find the solution. Next, we have Markov chains. So matrices are used to model and analyze stochastic processes like Markov chains, which are sequences of random variables where the future state depends on the current state. And matrices here help in calculating the probabilities of transitioning between the states. After that we have input-output analysis, Matrix, wherein matrices are used in input-output analysis to analyze the interdependence of different sectors in an economy. One example is Lentif's input-output model. Let's talk about the graph theory. It's the fifth application. Matrices are employed in graph theory to represent graphs. For example, the adjacency matrix of the graph represents the connection between vertices and various operations. But matrices can help analyze properties of the corresponding graph. Next one is linear programming. Matrices are fundamental in linear programming, which involves optimizing a linear objective function subject to linear equality and inequality constraints. The simple method and optimization techniques really heavily on matrix operations. Network analysis. Matrix are used in network analysis to study various properties of networks such as connectivity, centrality, and flow example, including incidence matrix, Laplacian matrix, and adjacency matrix in analyzing networks. It helps in understanding the properties and operations for tackling problems in mathematics engineering computer science, economics, and other disciplines. Matrix are extensively used in image processing, tasks such as filtering, compression, and enhancement. Image can be represented as metro cells of pixel values and various matrix operations are applied for manipulation and further processing of images widely by technologies. Some we will see about some of the famous people from the matrices field. James Sylvester. The term matrix was introduced by the 19th century English mathematician James Sylvester. He played a very important role in developing the matrix theory. Not just this, he is also known for discovering the discriminant of a cubic equation and first use the name discriminant for equation of higher order. The next one is Arthur Cayley. Arthur Cayley is the father of matrices. He was a great mathematician. Arthur Cayley was born on 16th August 1821. It was in 1858 that Arthur Cayley published the theoretical definition of the matrix and all his work in his branch of mathematics in his memoir on the theory of matrices. 